Yeah, so I just wanted to know if you had any like pregame rituals or like anything you do to get your mind right for a big game like this. Um, I don't have really anything in specific. I'm not like a super superstitious person. Um, I guess after like pregame meals, sometimes I'll take a nap if I need it. Um, sometimes I need to, you know, drink a little bit of caffeine. I usually get a coffee before the game and just like blast music for like the hour and a half that we have, but nothing like in specific. <laughs> Is there anything in particular to tournament play that's a little different for you uh, beyond that? Like beyond my first play Yeah, games? anything that's added to it, anything that's new when you do it in tournament play just in general since? I guess I listen to like specific songs maybe. Like I have to listen to music the entire time I'm getting ready. So I guess you can count that as like something, but just something like really to get me going and my energy up and you know, have really good energy transfer over to the game. Yeah, I noticed I noticed a lot of players like they do the the, the pre game nap. I was just I've always been curious about that. Like what <laughs> what does that like do for you, you know, like rest wise and like before the game and everything? Um, so depending on the time of the game, sometimes we have games like at noon or at two. So shoot around is at the crack of dawn. So it's like sometimes we just need a nap just to, you know, get that extra like rejuvenation in our body or I don't know, just kind of like a reset, you know, depending how shoot around went. But sometimes you can't take a nap because it'll make you a little bit too tired. So. <laughs> so I know a lot of times you and Coach Abe, nobody in particular is all about looking ahead. So in this case, I'm going to ask about questions of stuff that happened in the past. Okay. Uh, but we, we, um, we talked, you know, back in November, mm -hmm. all three of the ladies I talked to, you, Diamond, Moss, and he all said, conference championship tournament <laughs> is the goal. <laughs> now that you knocked that out, yeah. I mean, it, it, when you're going into the tournament, does it kind of feel like you're playing with house money here? Or, or how much, I mean, what's the feeling going into that? Um, I feel like we always feel like the underdog. We always have the underdog mentality. Um, we finally achieved some of our goals this year, but obviously we have you know more goals. We want to make it past the first round in the NCAA. Um, but we're always going to focus one game at a time, of course. So we're really just focused on this next game on Saturday. With everything you guys have done this year, I mean, down the list, conference tournament, but like we just talked about, um, winning the regular season, um, you know, having historic moments in itself, you know, uh, Mossini getting her thousandth point, Lish getting 10 steals in a game. I mean, that didn't happen for like 30 years or something, you know. <laughs> With all the, um, all the awards, sixth player of the year, for example, uh, you know, Diamonds accolades, coach of the year for uh, Coach Abe. It, the word I've thrown around on the podcast when I'm talking to the guys at Black Bull Banneret is iconic. Is that too much or what? Uh, no, I mean, we've worked extremely hard like every single year that we've been here, whether it's been, you know, two years, three years, four years. Um, and I feel like like we've earned this for ourselves. We've worked extremely, extremely hard. And I'm so proud of everybody and everything that they've accomplished this year. And it's just it's a really good feeling to finally see things fall into our lap for once. And this kind of counts as looking ahead. But like, has it kind of sunk in yet that chances are other uh, ladies coming in after you guys are going to talk about this group for some time? I hope so. <laughs> we worked really hard. We deserve that. <laughs> I love that answer. I wasn't ready for it. It was great. Go ahead, Reese. Uh, yeah, more. in terms of like the game plan, I know we talked like, all season about the defense, but yeah. what are some of the things you guys can do offensively to win this game? Uh, we actually all bring like something different to offense. Some of us want to get to the basket. Some of us want to drop fouls. Some of us want to catch and shoot. So I feel like, honestly, we're also extremely hard to guard like offensively because we have so many different things that we bring to the table. So a very serious question here. Okay. Right? The name Brit Brittany Buckets. Is this a recent occurring thing? Have you had this for a while? Uh, I think I've recently just started. I mean, I've just been hearing you guys start calling me that, and now like some of my teammates call me that. Yeah, I, I know I'm guilty of it. I, I was trying to come up, to come up the winning for my question, and I kind of stalled setting it up. I'm like, and you know, you doing the whole Britney buckets thing. I hope she likes that. And, you know, I do like it. I do. It's tough. <laughs> so but, but you may not know they actually refer to you as that uh, during the uh, Tulsa game. I think. Too. Oh really? So, yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see, and of course, well, one last thing, you know, I've, I've asked you all these fun questions and knowledge about the success. To the tournament itself, um, I don't know if you've heard yet, but um, during the press conference on Monday with Coach Malzahn, mm -hmm. we were talking to, he was talking about the spring uh, practicing starting, the Gasparilla Bowl came up and how they played for Florida. I don't know if you heard his response, but he definitely uh, pumped you guys up, talked about Coach Ape and how good a basketball coach she is. Is what is it that you're getting support from literally all around the campus from all the other programs like they're shouting you guys out you guys are the ones on stage right now does that add any uh fun for um, lack of a better of word of course of course um, one thing about ucf sports is that we all have like a strong bond whether we know each other personally or not we all support each other so strongly and i mean we all root for each other we all go to each other's games and it's just 
it's just a really good feeling to know that the school has your back. So yeah, you're definitely not you're definitely not separated. There's a collective yeah. um, in there too. Collective so, bond. Right, and as far as you, um, the game itself, I don't know how much film that you guys have watched or how much preparation you've done um, to this point yet before you've gone to the tournament. But what can you tell us about Florida? And um, is there anything different you guys are going to do to attack? Uh, Florida's a really, really good team. They're really big. They're really strong. They're really skilled. Um, so we're just going to do anything that we can to prepare for it. And you know reach our goals so so i hear big and strong that means uniquely you masami and destiny are going to be a big part of that contest uh we need everybody the same amount we True. need everybody to put one foot in and give it all they got for this next game fair enough Brittany, it was great seeing you one last time in person before you go good luck <laughs> thank you